In 2006, Climate Generation launched the Summer Institute for Climate Change Education in response to the fact that there wasn't a lot of resources to support educators around climate change. We held it at the School of Environmental Studies, a longtime educational partner, which is where we're hosting this year's 10th Annual Summer Institute. We did the first interview for the Secret Foundation right here, forming the foundation and uh, well, the struggle of trying to get everything together, and, but we did have some teachers together. We had around 45 educators that joined us from the Twin Cities. It was a five-day institute, actually. We had just launched our Global Warming 101 initiative, and we were unveiling our first curriculum for grades uh, 9 through 12 and on global warming, the basics of climate change. And we were also getting ready to put together an expedition to the Canadian Arctic. I remember feeling so excited to be a part of an organization that was actually um, developing climate change education resources and training teachers in it because it was really a rarity at the time. The goal for each Summer Institute for Climate Change Education is to support educators in building their confidence and competence to incorporate climate change and energy into their educational setting. To give teachers the language to talk about climate change and global warming in a way that um, that is based in science, that is based in fact, um, that is not intimidating and it's not political. Those partnerships then expanded into the, an idea of having a summer institute for climate change education and what that would function as is a way, a catalyst or a way to bring people together around those ideas of sharing the experiences that were happening on the expedition. Bring those experiences into classrooms with curriculum written by teachers, something tangible that then they can take and bring them to teachers. Here you go. It really changed the way I taught because it made me be a learner along with my kids. And they liked that, knowing that I didn't know all the answers and that we could uh, investigate things together and um, make up the learning adventure as we went. This is going to be okay. We have standards to back us up. We have science to back us up. So I felt like that was really fabulous. Since 2006, our Summer Institute for Climate Change Ed Education has had a profound impact on the education community here in Minnesota, as well as nationally. We've reached over 670 educators who've attended the Institute since 2006, coming from 20 states. 90 of those educators have returned for more than one institute. Our institute is really the pinnacle of our education program. It's our most valuable opportunity to connect with the educators that we work with in an in-person way, providing them with climate change education resources, providing them with training on how to implement those resources, and connecting them with experts in the field of climate science, climate change education, and climate change solutions. It's very important to work with educators because when we're working with educators, we're working with our children, and this is our children's issue. Uh, we have a, a real responsibility to educate our kids on what's going on on the climate. We have to teach science. There isn't any more exciting times than right now because there's so many different things that are, are changing and going on. Observations that you can make now and then five years later, you can compare these, ob these various observations. One of our core partners that has been there since the beginning has been the St. Paul Public Schools. When an educator owns that curriculum in a certain sense and has a passion and a feeling, a real understanding about it, uh, it changes the way they teach. When you have a passion for what you teach to a, to a child, the child's going to be enthused. If you are, there you go. Each of the resources that we developed are tied to national and state science and social studies and language arts standards. They are interdisciplinary and include action opportunities in each one as well because solutions are really a huge piece of the climate change education puzzle. We're very intentional in planning the Summer Institute with um, the locations that we hold it at. We like to highlight the resources and the partnerships that we have. We also like to look at sustainable and local restaurants um, to provide the food because we like to walk the talk of climate change issues and sustainability. We have had the honor of hosting a number of prestigious and respected individuals over the years who are experts in climate change science and climate change education. The primary message is that the climate change issue is urgent. And, you know, it's really hard for people to realize that because you don't notice uh, slow climate change with large weather fluctuations from day to day. The scientific consensus on the reality of global warming is as strong as the scientific consensus on tobacco was in the 1960s. And we knew that tobacco was harmful and the government took action against it in the 1960s. Now, here we are 40 years later, nearly 50 years, 
the same story. We have a scientific consensus, but we have a lot of reluctance to do anything about it. The world has made it abundantly clear what's happening. When the Arctic begins to melt, when every high altitude glacier starts to melt, when we begin to see epic drought, when the chemistry of seawater changes, well, eventually it grabs your attention. And this year we'll be hosting Frank Neopold, who is NOAA's Climate Education Coordinator and also one of the authors on the Climate Literacy Principles. We are a trusted leader locally and nationally for delivering sound professional development on climate change and energy. Recently we were recognized by the White House for our efforts to advance climate literacy and education. The thing that is, I think that has uh, drawn me to climate generation is um, one, the quality. I mean, the, everything that, that, that uh, comes across my desk and I have an opportunity to use is, is good. I mean, uh, good, good to that level of, wow, kind of a wow moment. And the other is that um, somehow the organization has been able to, to think ahead and just uh, know what we're going to need. It's really an exciting opportunity for us to continue to support teachers uh, with curriculum resources like the new Next Generation Climate Curriculum we're going to be producing later this year that meets the new Next Generation Science Standards. We'll be continuing to offer professional development resources in the form of the Summer Institute as well as workshops and webinars. And most importantly, we're excited to continue to follow where the issue is going and what teachers need to learn how to build the next generation of climate leaders who are aware of the issue, knowledgeable of what causes it, and most importantly, are engaged in solutions.